so good morning student so in the last class uh, we discussed about a uh, descriptive analysis and we also discussed about this uh, we we also discussed about the uh, univariate analysis bivariate analysis and multivariate analysis and we also discussed about the research report uh, how what do you mean by the research report or uh, what are the uh, content or the format of the research report what should be included in our research report see after uh, presenting that is the actually that is the last step in research the first step we have to identify the topic uh, then we have to do literature review then we have to build questionnaire or to uh, conduct interview if we are going for interview method uh, then uh, uh, analyze the data the uh, analyze the collected data by using a uh, different uh, statistical tools so in analysis there are uh, uh, three types like uh, descriptive and inferential analysis and again it it divided into three like uh, univariate analysis univariate means uh, we are analyzing uh, only one variable so that is called univariate analysis and bivariate analysis means if we are analyzing the data by taking the two variable by taking two variable then it is called bivariate analysis and there are uh, other type like multivariate analysis in multivariate analysis we take uh, more than two variables so in the last class we discussed what are the univariate analysis and what are the uh, bivariate analysis and multivariate anal analysis by giving an examples so the second unit uh, under business research method the second unit uh, comes the statistical tools so the basic statistical tools uh, in analysis part the first come like in descriptive analysis in descriptive analysis the basic statistical tools are first one is the percentage analysis so anybody uh, anybody who are new to the research or uh, most of the people are used the percentage analysis it is a very simple method uh, uh, very simple method to analyze the data anybody can uh, use it so how we can use percentage analysis percentage analysis is nothing but we uh, convert the number or we convert the responses into 100 we calculate what is the proportion of response to the percentage or to the 100 so that is called percentage analysis if we collected uh, responses from 300 students then how we uh, uh, what is the percentage of those response for example what is the percentage of male and what is the percentage of female if there are uh, out of 300 if there are 150 males and 150 females so in percentage percentage analysis it comes like 50 percent males and 50 percent females or if there is a uh, 200 males and uh, remaining 100 100 uh, females then we can say like 60% uh, are males and 40% females so, so that is the percentage analysis so after percentage analysis the other uh, method or other statistical tools that we discussed like uh, by using central tendency and by using uh, the dispersion either by using uh, uh, central tendency theory or by using dispersion or we can use both by using uh, central tendency and dispersion uh, in central tendency there are uh, statistical tools like uh, mean median and mode it's nothing but average by using the average of the data we can analyze uh, what is the characteristics of the data or we can use a dispersion or we are uh, in the simple words it is called as a variation uh, what is the variation of data from its mean what is the variation or the fluctuation of the data 
from its mean so by using these uh, a statistical tools or by using this techniques we can analyze the data so uh, these two are the very basic uh, statistical tools so therefore uh, we we don't have what a discussion much discussion about these techniques or it is not included in our syllabus because all of uh, we know how we we have to calculate percentage analysis and how to calculate mean and uh, standard deviation so the next uh, technique the next basic uh, techniques or most popularly used techniques in business research particularly in business research that is uh, regression and correlation in business research in every business we use uh, the regression and correlation see uh, the regression regression are used uh, can you tell me why um, regression are used or what is the purpose of regression or what is the purpose of use of correlation i explained uh, while in the first class itself the use of regression where we use regression and where we use correlation can you tell me anyone tell me uh, what is the use of regression and correlation yeah i'm asking question can we can use regression when we can use regression and when we can use a give me a simple example or a give me a simple in one word you can tell me in one word where we can use regression yeah participants 11 response none are you listening yes, sir okay tell me where we can use regression and correlation the regression and correlation you all already discussed in your bachelor degree or pu regression and correlation this is not a new concept relation between two variables where you can answer in to know the relation between two variables Just tell me. Use that box. Estimating the numbers. Okay, regression are used for estimating the numbers or for predicting and correlation. See. i'll continue correlation measures the variation between two variables see regression are used for prediction in business in normally they have to predict what may be the sales in the next year by using the past data or the game the net or i walk now network for in correlation relation are used to find out the uh, relationship between the two variable so the definition of correlation correlation are used to measure the relationship between the or to the variation covariation between the two variable in short the tendency of simultaneous variation between or it, it also called as what is the proportion of change when uh, some proportion of change in the 
the variable or what is the relationship between what is what is the extent of change in one variable dependent on other variable if one variable change some percentage so what is the percentage of change in other variable so uh, that value is called correlation or the, the that tendency is called correlation so uh, correlation is also here you know, correlation are measured by using the coefficient of correlation or a correlation coefficient we call it as a by you if we uh, we uh, check the relationship between the two variable by using one value one value so that value is called coefficient uh, we can check the relationship between the two variables or two values by using a graph or a chart but in graph or chart we can see uh, or we can just observe the uh, values and we can say that uh, either there is a, a correlation or there is a no correlation but we cannot say the exact what may be the exact or the extent or the degree of relationship between the two variable so in order to know the degree or the exact degree or the extent of correlation we have to uh, find out what is the coefficient so that coefficient uh, is denoted by using r a small letter r we use small letter r or uh, which is called in uh, row which is also called as row in b in statistics we use a small letter r for uh, correlation coefficient and here the size of the r indicates the amount of a uh, correlation between two variables we uh, take examples how we can check out the correlation between the two variables so i want to know whether there is a relationship between the marks obtained by the students in internal exam and the marks obtained by the students in semester exam whether there is a correlation between marks obtained by the students in uh, internal exam and the marks obtained by the students in semester exam so i can collect the marks obtained by the students in internal exams and uh, semester exam consider 15 student i can i i collect uh, the marks of students in both the exams of 15 students and i write it down and uh, i can calculate what is the correlation coefficient so it gives a numbers so there are uh, different methods are there to calculate what is the correlation so by using those values i can interpret whether there is a correlation between these two values or the, or the other examples like whether there is a correlation between the amount spent on advertisement and amount spent on sorry amount spent on advertisement and sales uh, you can take for simple correlation for simple correlation we can take only two variables that is uh, one variable here is amount to spent on advertisement and other variable is sales i want to know whether there is a correlation so there are uh, different uh, uh, techniques are there by using by using that techniques we can find out what is the uh, relationship between the, those two values see what is the purpose of calculation of correlation will we will discuss in future class how we are calculate a uh, correlation coefficient or uh, the methods of correlation coefficient but we have to know what is the purpose or what is the need for calculation of correlation now you understand what do you mean by the correlation correlation is nothing but uh, it is a technique to find out the correlation between or the relationship between the two variables and why we need to find out or what is the need for finding out correlation the first need the finding out characteristics of psychological and educational test like uh, reliability validity and item analysis etc see in psychological uh, it is used 
mainly in psychological in psychological in order to some of the aspect in order to what measure the so some of the aspect like qualitative or nature some of the aspects are in qualitative nature in psychological most of the aspects are in qualitative nature uh, in finance we can get uh, some of the uh, response in quantitative in numbers like uh, the profit or uh, the assets in numbers but in psychological uh, for example i want to know what is the uh, personality traits personality traits among students so there are uh, one concept is there like a big five personality traits big five personality traits includes openness uh, consciousness or extraversion so all those are the some of the personality traits see openness openness means uh, whether they are uh, openness to the uh, new adventures or they are introvert or extrovert and introvert uh, consider uh, two personality trait uh, extrovert and introvert so i want to know uh, how many percentage of the students uh, have extrovert character and how many percentage or how many students are introvert character see this extrovert and introvert we cannot identify by asking one simple question one question we cannot identify or we cannot measure the the personality of the student uh, especially the psychological personality psychological state or psychological personality of the student by asking one questions just by uh, we cannot uh, identify by asking questions like are you introvert or extrovert so we we do not get an exact answer he may answer randomly or he may answer biasly so some of the students are not what not ready to answer the questions by openly so in such case we have to uh measure the such variables or we have to measure the uh, such character by asking indirect questions not by asking direct questions see uh, personal for example psychological questions are asked always asked in indirect way they ask some other question based on some question, on those questions we measure personality traits so uh, for example i want to know whether they are extrovert or introvert so in extra word means they are openness to adventure so uh, we can ask questions like i i am very interested in outdoor activities so that is one questions related to extra word so we can ask we cannot ask direct question we can ask indirect question in that questions like i am a uh, very interested in very interested in outdoor activities so we can ask by uh, giving a 5 point likert scale we can ask by giving 5 point likert scale in 5 uh, point means uh, strongly agree to strongly disagree if anyone answer the question or if anyone responded for this statement particular statement uh, strongly agree that means he is a kind of extrovert i am very interested in outdoor activities if any response or any respondents are uh, responded for strongly agree as a strongly agree so then we can uh, what conclude or we can say that he is extrovert not by asking just one statement likewise we have to ask many more questions if you google or if you search any uh, personal psychological related research you can get a standard questionnaire standard questionnaires to measure the behavior human behavior so they, they don't ask only one question to measure the one psychological aspect so when we ask uh, many statements in order to measure one behavior so i can ask five questions to measure one behavior so while asking a uh, five statements or 10 there are uh, some of the research uh, research ask a uh, 40 questions for to measure one psychological uh, what state so at that time while analyzing the uh, such 40 statements uh, there are there may be a chance that 
those fortist uh, statements may not represent may not represent one psychological aspect we can ask i uh, any number of questions to measure one psychological aspect but may, there may be a chance that uh, not all the statement not all the statement represent exactly the that particular psychological behavior so at that time we have to know whether there is a intercorrelation between all those 40 statements so that is called as a reliability we want to know uh, reliability or validity or item analysis between the those statements so there is no need to what analyze 40 statement to measure those psychological statement instead of we can check correlation between the 40 statement and find out uh, in which statement among 40 sta uh, statement uh, which statement have high positive correlation which statement have high positive correlation we can keep it for our analysis instead of keeping all 40 statement it, uh, we have to check the interrelationship interdependence between the statement and we can keep only those for example i asked respondent for statement to measure the extrovert and introvert character but after conducting correlation between the statement i found that out of 40 statements i can out of 40 statement 20 statement 20 statement has high positive correlation and it represent the extrovert and introvert character so therefore for my further analysis for my further analysis i can keep only 20 those 20 statements which has a high positive correlation so in, in such circumstance uh, we can there is a need of correlation so this is especially comes when uh, we are doing a factor analysis uh, while doing factor analysis we need correlation so this is a uh, one advanced techniques actually this is advanced techniques factor analysis uh, we don't have factor analysis technique but uh, we are study only basic correlation techniques but you have to understand how we can uh, use correlation uh, for reliability and validity and item analysis and second need of our, the purpose of using correlation is uh, testing whether certain data is consistent with hypothesis. Uh, uh, we use, we develop hypothesis. You understand what do you mean by hypothesis? A hypothesis is like assumption. See, uh, assumption is uh, there are there may be a general uh, findings or a general assumption, preconceived notion about some concept. See, some concept, uh, for example. Uh, there may be a general assumption about uh, the number of hours study and the scores obtained by the students. What is the general assumption between these two variables? One variable is hours of study, number of hours they study or students study, and the scores obtained by the student. There are two variables. The general assumption about these two variables is uh, normally but the positive relationship between there is a relationship between number of study and marks obtained by the student student who study a uh, lot get more score that is a general hypothesis or general assumption so uh, we can uh, test whether this assumption are right or wrong so in order to testing whether certain data is consistent with hypothesis and next one uh, third one is predicting one variable based on the knowledge of others predicting so as i said uh, regression the first concept is as per the syllabus you have the first concept is regression and second concept is correlation but uh, while studying first we have to know before estimating the value or before predicting the value first we have to know whether there is a relationship between those variables for example uh, i want to know i i want to 
predict the sales in the year next year what may be the sales in the next year i want to know so that is called prediction how i can predict the uh, sales of the next years that is by using the past data i can collect uh, the sales of last 10 years by using the sales of last 10 years i can predict what may be the sales in the next year so before or uh, before what uh, estimating or before predicting the values first thing i have to know whether there is a relationship between the past date and future data if there is a no relationship between the two values so it is ways to uh, estimate the values by using those data we can take uh, other examples see other examples are the price of gold and price of or the stock market price price of gold whether there is a relationship between gold price and stock price stock market price so in general concept there is a correlation there is a correlation between the gold price and stock market price why because if there is high the price of the gold is high the people are attracted to the gold uh, people, most of the people are invest to the gold they do not invest in stock market price or stock market so if there is the gold price is less uh, 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 people are attracted to the stock market because they want to uh, earn more profit so there is a correlation between the stock market price and a uh, gold price so therefore we can predict if gold price is so much what may be the stock market price because there is a logical relationship between these two variables of course there is a logical relationship and we can also find out what is the exact correlation between these two variables first thing we have to check the logical relationship say for example uh, the other example i can give the number of letters in name number of letters in name in the students and the scores obtained by the students two variable one is first one is the number of letters in their name and the scores obtained by the student so two variable can i estimate by using the number of letters in the students and their scores can i estimate see there is no correlation of first of all there is no logical correlation between these two variables because number of letters uh, in their names and the scores obtained by the student there is no correlation between these two variables so uh, if there is no correlation between these two variables so if you use for prediction even though you get uh, some value so that value may not an exact value because you know, uh, in statistic we can uh, if we have numbers we can estimate the values just by uh, use formula and get the values but the important thing whether there is a logical relationship whether there is a logical relationship between the values the first thing before using a regression first thing you have to check the correlation uh, if you are checking the uh, correlation between the values of price and demand of course there is a, a, correl a logical relationship between the price and demand so i can estimate the uh, demand by using price and uh, there is a logical relationship between the salary given and the output of the company so i can uh, estimate the value by using the salary and output but there is no logical relationship between uh, the number of distance they traveled and output produced so i cannot estimate the values by using this data so therefore predicting one variable based on knowledge of other so whenever you are going for prediction or whenever you are going for estimation there should be a logic relationship and there should be a relationship between the correlation so before prediction we have to 
check correlation so that is the uh, third need for the correlation and next one uh, building psychological and educational models and theories so normally developing while developing theories and models uh, we use correlation see i can give one example for uh, this uh, statement like uh, building psychological and educational there is one a uh, study the, the famous study in uh, hrm that is hawthorne experiment you know that hawthorne experiment so in hawthorne experiment uh, he check whether there is a correlation between uh, the lighting effect light and production lighting illumination effect and production uh, what they did uh, they did like uh, they increased the amount of lighting and they checking the what is the production level so they check the relationship between the lighting and output so based on that they develop theory so for developing theories or for developing models we need correlation and next one a grouping variable or measures for uh, parsimonious interpretation of data so this one has already explained in the first concept that is uh, while doing factor analysis factor analysis means uh, we ask 50 more statements but i want to know uh, i want to develop the factors so out of 40 statement or 10 statement may represent extraversion or or 10 uh, 15 statements uh, represent uh, what other personality like openness and remaining a uh, 15 uh, statement uh, represent agreeableness character so that is the factor so while a uh, grouping a variable based on the relation correlation coefficient so we need correlation the next one the uh, carrying multivariate statistical test like uh, manova mankova uh, discriminant uh, discriminant analysis and factor analysis so in every normally in every advanced techniques we use correlation analysis so we need uh, these are the uh, advanced techniques in mankova manova anova you have anova uh, one way anova and two way anova in manova and mankova we use correlation for a better analysis so all these uh, uh, circumstances we need correlation how we use or how we test correlation between the two values that is we test a correlation between the two variables by using correlation coefficient and what do you mean by correlation coefficient how we can interpret the correlation coefficient we'll discuss so here the time is remaining only 5 minutes please rejoin I'll stop here.